Good morning, afternoon, what have you. It's Kevin Chaotic. We at K Studios, you know. Uh, man, I got some serious issues today. I uh, I woke up this morning. And I, I witnessed on video again a man being murdered by a police officer. And this one touched home especially because in the video, you can watch him take his last breath. And just the lack of respect that was shown. You know what I mean? Um, It was it was it was heartbreaking. It was gut wrenching to see to see uh, to see a police officer handcuff a man. He's on the ground, and you put your whole body weight with your knee on his neck. He is not. He's he's at at this point. Regardless of what he did to get the police called, I don't know. But at this moment, at this time, he's not a threat, man. I sat there and watched for over 10 minutes of you put your whole weight on somebody's neck when they're begging and pleading. Like, like, uh, <laughs> I mean, is there, is, is it that much hate for black people to where it, to where, to where you, you need to, to act inhumane. Like me, man, I, I could never take a life unless my life was in jeopardy or one of my loved ones. I can't imagine me sitting on someone's neck while they're begging for their life and me not get up, alone three or four other officers watch. None of y'all had the wherewithal to tap your coworker on the shoulder and say, hey man, get up. He's not a threat anymore. What is your job? Is your... I don't understand. What's in the fucking job description to be a police officer, man? He begs you to get up. Like, this is a this is a question for for uh, my white constituents. I don't even know if I want to call you constituents. This is this is a question for white people, man. Like, are y'all proud of yourself? Can you wake up every day and look your white, look in the mirror at your white face and honestly say I'm proud to be who I am? Because me as a black man, it bothers me when I see other black people conduct themselves in an inhumane way. Right? When I see black people conduct themselves in an ignorant way, it bothers me. How do y'all feel like, like, seriously? All the shit we've been through in this country with white people. You know what I mean? Isn't the wealth gap enough punishment? The majority of minorities are piss poor, and it's a and it's and it's systematic, right? It ain't that we lazy. It ain't that we're that we're ignorant. It's systematic. Isn't the wealth gap enough punishment? I mean, it can't be because um, every day I wake up and I look on social media, I see another black person murdered. 
And at some point, y'all gonna have to write y'all wrongs, man. I know better. I know at some point, Y'all are going to start a fight. It's going to be another civil war in this country, but a real one. That civil war, that wasn't... That was some bullshit compared to what's coming. I guarantee you... We will not continue to take this motherfucking treatment... Because I don't want you, if you're a cop and you murder somebody unjust, I don't want your motherfucking job. I want your life. I'm tired. That's the only way we're going to get the respect we deserve. When you kill one of ours, we need one of yours. I, this is at the point I I don't want peace. I don't want peace. I want blood. I'm tired. The God in me is tired. It's gonna stop. You will not continue to kill my brothers and sisters in these motherfucking streets because you wear a badge. The sure disrespect that I experienced when watching this video this morning, it is gut-wrenching. To see other officers stand in front and protect him from... Look, citizens, we don't have to... We can fight back. That badge does not give you the right to kill innocent people. I encourage all my citizens, all my brothers and sisters to open up a can of whoop ass. If you see one of your fellow citizens and brothers and sisters dying in the street at the hands of a police officer, we have to fight back. We cannot sit on a motherfucking sidewalk and record them kill us. Fuck your badge, fuck your gun, fuck your job. Every time I leave my residence, my life is in danger. For what? I was born in this country. I deserve the same liberties as my white Americans. <laughs> hey, look. Most of y'all, not most, all of y'all are immigrants. <laughs> if y'all... Come on, man. If y'all don't want to share these liberties, man, we get the fuck out of here. Point blank, period. I'm tired of the double standard. I get it. You're afraid. <laughs> and I don't, I don't understand why. Well, I do understand why, but come on, man. Come on, man. Y'all got all the money. Y'all got all the power. The fuck you scared of? We ain't walking around scared of y'all. Only, only time we scared of y'all is when y'all wear a badge and a gun and y'all kill people and get away with it. No jail time. I don't want their job. The, you fire, the mayor of Minneapolis or the governor or whoever the fuck you is up there, you firing them is not justice. Them motherfuckers need to be in protective custody. Real talk. Them bitches better go to the moon and hide out. Like, I don't understand how these people survive. Like, when they killed Rodney King, 
Well, they ain't kill him, but when they when, when the police beat up Rodney King, LA went ape shit. I assumed the same thing was gonna happen when they killed Trayvon. The the that opened up that opened up a storm we weren't ready. When they when, when Trayvon died, man, it's just been a domino effect. Y'all should have told Florida to fuck up. We're being hunted for doing normal things. My man taking a job, being hunted. My man going to the store to get some snacks, buy some Skittles, being hunted. What is wrong with y'all? We ain't thinking about y'all. My man jogging one word about them hunkies. Trayvon one word about that white man. I'm going about my business. We ain't worried about y'all. What y'all scared of? We are not fucking criminals, man. We're products of circumstances. I know y'all intelligent enough to realize that your environment, your community being poor, man, poverty equals violence. You know why ain't no violence in the rich neighborhoods? Because they got money. You ain't got no worries when you can handle your business. When you don't got money, trust me. Crazy shit run through your head. I have never felt more violent than I have been broke. When I ain't broke, I ain't violent. I'm somewhere spending some fucking money. Look, man. We're tired. We're tired. Y'all are fucking up. We didn't sat by and let y'all riddle our communities with drugs. We didn't sat by and watched and let y'all fuck the food up. We didn't sat by and watched y'all promote homosexuality. We didn't sat by and watched y'all make a mockery of politics. We didn't sat back and watched y'all rip every piece of land from the natives. We didn't sat back and watched y'all steal our culture, steal our history, steal our names, steal our whole existence. the motherfucking stop I will mobilize my people I will mobilize my people if this if this how you want it it can be like this y'all gonna have to kill all us if y'all continue y'all behavior y'all gonna have to kill all of us You got me fucked up. We're tired. We don't want your job no more. You can't fire a murderer and think it's going to go away. We want blood. Point blank, period. Fuck that. Amen. <laughs> Come on, man. Like, I, I, these murderers is not worried about being a Christian. These murderers are not worried about God. They can't. These politicians are not worried about being a Christian. These politicians are not worried about God. My God won't blood. My God is, is loving, is gentle, is caring, but will strike vengeance. Keep playing with me. <laughs>